we go again. I really want a weapon early. I don't, the gem build is like too much work for me, honestly. It's not really my tempo. Bandle me. Oh, hang on. Right at the start of the video. 82 million views, 1984, literally. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing that I'm singing so loud. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing with the rest of the crowd. Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. Oh, woo -hoo. I don't think it's from 1984, but I'll try it. Elo, don't bring me down. Don't bring me down. Wrong. Okay, bass me. Ooh, uh, it's, it's Ghostbusters, dude. <clears throat> you keep me busting all kinds of ghosts. You got me busting the ghost that's the most. Don't bust those ghosts. Okay, that's Ghostbusters. Yes, that is correct. Halloween definitely has some of the worst music on earth no disrespect to anything but ghostbusters i mean you got to hear this i don't know why i'm doing this stevie wonder but anyway ghostbusters sucks ass i'm, I'm telling you my kid loves ghostbusters the song They've never seen the movie. I gotta tell you, before you say Ghostbusters doesn't suck ass, I'm gonna ask you to leave and listen to the whole song. Do not turn that shit off after 45 seconds like you, you're gonna want to. And it first starts, you're gonna be like, oh, hell yeah. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you're gonna be like, this is amazing. And then the shit just keeps going for three minutes and 45 seconds of just the same. Anyway. Old bit, but you still haven't listened to Busting? Literally, you're 12 years old. We listened to that shit when it came out, when your ass was in the fourth grade. This guy's never heard of Busting. Get a load of this guy. Mods, check their Netflix account. I want to see what their most watched show is. Okay, now everyone shut up. I'm trying to do better in backpack battles, okay? No, I'm not going gemstones. You know, I'm not Danny McBride. Mods, check how many hours that chatter has an old school runescape. Piggy bank is... It's mid, I'm just gonna say it. Give me some regen, re-roll me. Two swords goes insane. I'm not talking about Zelda, no disrespect Apollo. One of these. And a, and a, it's the, uh, how much you sell? You sell for two, you sell for one. I'm going Captain Insano mode here. No, I know what I must do. Hang on. The first round is where you set the template for the future. Send it. Okay. You got no chance. No chance. No chance. Just need a little stam. A little stam. Just a little stamina. There we go. There's one. Bananas give more stamina. Bananas in staminas are walking down the stairs. You know what I'm saying? That's a big one. It'd be nice if you triggered faster, but the swords are probably more effective. There you go. One of those will go hard. Send it. Is that a Canadian show? Oh, you already got Smelk? Smelk's already got the dang, the Iron Greatsword coming. Holy cow. I don't know if it's Canadian. There's a lot of shows that, it, it circles back to the Rick D's conversation from yesterday. There's a lot of shows that I watched as a kid that I thought were made in like Ottawa, Ontario, and then it turns out the shit was actually made in Helsinki. Who knew?
Did you know Pingu is not Canadian? I thought that shit was like a Nelvana joint. I do like a Goobert. I do enjoy a Goobert. You know what? I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going back on what I said. I don't think it's the right time for Goobert. The reason for it is that I feel like a whetstone is so much more advantageous with two swords, and I'm not talking about Zelda, then this bad boy goes here. And we have like a, uh, the dagger is also really good, man. Cost zero stam does damage. Give me that, keep the potion reserved. All right, set it up. No Goobert. We are paying the Goobert tax for not taking him, but so be it. It's crazy how much value a good start gives you. <laughs> when you lose like your first three rounds, you're like, fuck it, I don't want to win anyway. When you win your first three rounds, you're like, I'm, I'm a god. If someone asks you if you're a god, Ray, you gotta say yes, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying... Ghostbusters. WTF, he's on time today. You uh, live in Europe. POV, you live in Europe. This is the way. You set your clocks back an hour um, two or three days ago. We have not done that in North America. Rotate your stone. What's wrong with my What's wrong with my damn stone? I don't understand. Permission to swag out. Granted. Permission granted. You need two of these to combine. Come on. Come on. We're not luck pilled. Might as well get you. Might as well get a backpack. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> mm. We should bring back music like this. Why doesn't Sean Mendez have a song that sounds like this? It sounds like dong -a dong 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 -a dong dong. Tavern music. Yeah, we don't have tavern music anymore. Anytime you go to a tavern, it's always like ga dunk 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 ga dunk dunk dunk. Oh, when I wake up, dunk dunk, then you know I'm gonna dunk. I'm gonna dunk the man that comes home next to you. Every tavern has tavern music. DL Guiga walking into uh, the club while shots by Lil Jon featuring LMFAO plays. Oh, my favorite tavern song. Excuse me, barkeep. Where's the where's the bard that is singing this jaunty little tune? And is that some kind of digital liar? My heavens, I've never heard a sound as heavenly as that. La da 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 la da 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 da. I'm just glad you're alive, Dio Guiga, because I genuinely. I was on that low impact ride. I was high fiving you because I was like, holy cow, he came for the low impact ride today. He's feeling it. And then you stalled at 75 output for 21 minutes. And I kept hitting the high five like it was going to restart your heart and bring you back to life. I was like, kum, kum, kum. It didn't do anything. The Peloton High Five does not work as a defibrillator. I quit the ride five minutes in. That's not how it looked on our leaderboards, but I'm going to blame that on the engineering side of Peloton. I'm sure the engineers who work at Peloton are probably pretty good. Maybe I should blame the project managers. Anyway, the important part is it's not my fault. <laughs> the trumpet. 
I could use another whetstone, honestly. Just convert blank into blank. blank into, I mean, we don't need two swords if we could instead... Your stamina usage is one. Yours is one. You do one to three. You do two to five. I mean, that's a straight upgrade in this household. And our stamina usage is still medium. I would say this is a save round. Although blueberries, the sell for one, so it's only costing us like a one gold. You don't even need to be in the right area. A little light on the on the spatial front here, but I think that's all right. I think that's good. I can live with it at least. And we'll keep you around. I don't know what we're gonna do with you. We'll keep you around for now. Three shields and a goobert? This dude is unkillable. He's going full spikes. I'm, I'm generating some lifesteal. But he's full spike. I, I don't think I can beat him. He's too spiky. I got a potion. Oh, no, he's, he's unbeatable. Can't be done. The stings. How do you counter a spike build? Oh, thorny sword. Ranged weapons. I feel like it's been 20 years since I've seen a bow in the shop. Wait, but you, what do you combine with? You combine with, oh, you combine with my dagger to make a, an even hungrier dagger. Where my bow's at? From the front to back, me when I'm looking for my headphones. Put one hand up. Can you repeat that? Where my bow's at? From the front to back. And if it's on it, you know where this. Don't don't quote me on this one. I'm pretty sure that song is called "Where My Girls At" by 702. Can I get some confirmation on that? Mods. Check their Spotify account. <laughs> People were making fun of me for being spatially challenged. Are you kidding me? Look at look at how we rotated this. This is crazy. And then you gotta work with you. Okay, we're well gonna you're gonna sell for two, one, one. That's only gonna take us to four. So we don't need to sell. We can we can hold for one round on the reserve. Oh, but if I wanted to, you just take up one space. Okay, never mind. Sell me. This is going to take a minute. Ah, crap. <laughs> I really want the dagger to be in the ranger bag, but if it can't be done, it can't be done. I'm actually not that bad at shapes anymore. Ah, uh, you're right, I should sell the other sword. You got, a, you, you got a point, and then we can move that up there. I want you in the... No, I don't... I do, actually, now that I think about it, I don't really care if you're in the ranger bag. Because we have zero luck anyway, so what's the point? It doesn't matter that much. No whetstone buff? Oh, yeah, that's true. They got a damn Jinx tortilla, too. YOLO swaggers. I'll be seeing you all over the place. Do you know they wrote a book about your ass? Easy win. Holy! Gain vampirism. Convert regen into vampirism. So having some regen would be nice. Doesn't uh, garlic gives you no garlic removes vampirism. So we want life steal. We want life binder and nature items. So true. Wish I hadn't sold my herbs, but it was apropos. Use three regen, inflict six blindness. We're not. Let me let me let me think about this one. 
Okay, so you gotta you gotta come out here. I think we can we can rebuild the whole squad from brass tacks. Dagger and sword next to each other gives you a bonus. Really? Okay, hang on. Heal two per vampiric item. Okay, I understand what you're saying to me. Now, the fanny pack is the most important. We want life binder in a good position to hit nature items. I can live with this for the moment. We do have another fanny pack actually. He's learning. Okay, let me think about this. Beautiful. You're not a nature item, though. Well, it's good to have you there. You're a nature item. You give regen. Regen is very good for us because we can turn it into something else. And you're a nature item. So let me just put you right there. You're also a nature item. I'm cooking. <laughs> if we can get another nature item to replace. Is a rock nature? You're a whetstone. You're not a rock. Not even a rock lobster. Okay, roll me. There's going to be something natural in here. It's guaranteed. There's nothing natural about this. Stam bag? I need a place to put my shields. What is this? <laughs> what, what have we constructed here? All right. I mean, it could be worse. It's a little silly, but it could be worse. No, I'm just looking at your backpack. I don't think you're that guy, pal. I see you got a high... Like, the weapon gives you better crit chance, but without any luck, you're not stacking crit. So I'm not even sweating this. I'm not concerned in the slightest. Would you, sorry, I had to respond to something. We don't have shields. I feel like a cap is okay. We don't, I mean, regen is good, but I don't think we're really going holy. It was a text from Germa. It was, you said, hey, can you pick me up two McChickens twice from McDonald's? Okay, give me this. You're not natural. Honestly, there's kind of like any port in a storm, you know? Any port in a storm. I would just send it. Okay. Now you scare me, because you have 12 weapons. And a million gems. And your backpack kind of looks like a penis. <laughs> Never mind, get smoked on! Alrighty, book! Book is crazy. If we're going for another 10 rounds, it would probably be nice to have a dragon egg, but I'd rather have a book, man. We have 16. Would I sell some? I would sell a single whetstone to have the, the power and the elbow grease to drop this bad boy up here. Give me a smellment. One of these. One of these. We're on one gold. I think that's perfect. Start me up. Once you start me up, I never stop. 
Okay, spike build. We have regen and lifesteal. This, maybe this could have a chance to counter spikes. Nope. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good, team. Wait a minute. It looks totally fine. Stamina usage is still low. Ripsaw blade. Stamina costs 1.5. 1.50. I feel like I could fit another weapon. The ripsaw's bait. Please play the game before I leave. You thought the rhythm, the rhythm BR? Yes. I was planning on playing it today. It's out right now. Okay, let me let me pog off. I'm pogging off here. My first run was horrendous, okay? Also, Kate. I'm it's I'm not comparing you and me. I'm comparing me with a normal person, okay? My rhythm is good. My pitch is horrible, but my rhythm is good. If all the battle royale requires is is rhythm, I got a shot to be in there. I'm not saying I'm going to the, the final circle. Prove it. Okay. Prove my, my rhythm is good. See, I'm, I'm perfect, man. You know, I got double kick pedals down here. That's Ed Sheeran's The Shape of You. True tavern music. I've been told rip size bait. Ergo, see you never. Corrupted crystal. Hang on, I forgot the crystals. Potion belt. Now we're cooking. Combine with why? Why are you talking so much about combining here? Herb me, great idea. This herb, great idea with the herb is a good idea. Garlic wants his hand back. Now let me let me think about this for a second. I do want a corrupted crystal. Seven debuffs inflicted gain armor. For every five seconds inflict fatigue damage. You're right, the herbs both need to be touching, huh? We'll accept this. Hey, NL, a random thought. <clears throat> I'm so excited by the Pointer Sisters, but it's the guy who's so excited the girl texted the frick back. I see what you're saying. Can I tell you something it, it, genuinely embarrassing? I think everybody has a song that pogs them up that shouldn't pog them up. Like it's, I, I guess it's the definition of a guilty pleasure. People are always like, my guilty pleasure? Mm, okay, Computer by Radiohead. I know that In Rainbows is considered like probably their most seminal work amongst my generation, but I just really like Paranoid Android. They always hit you with something like, like a job interview answer. Like my biggest weakness is that I care too much. I'll be straight up with you. My guilty pleasure, and, and Dio Guiga will tell you, uh, the song, when it comes on, no one's beating my output on the Peloton, is jump, open parentheses, for my love, by the Pointer Sisters, close parentheses. And it is a song that you would not expect me to vibe to, but for some reason, when that 80s fucking cheesy ass song comes on, I'm like, crank that resistance up to 80. I can feel it getting hotter, oh baby, I want your love, I want you, jump, 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 come on, jump for my love, jump in and feel my touch, if you want to get my kisses in the night, then jump for my love, and something about it, I'm like, my amygdala is like squeezing all the neurotransmitters out of it. 
Anyway, I want this, but I can't afford it. Start it up. Okay. Me at the Bugatti dealership. Is there anyone here who work at a um, a car, like a luxury car dealership? Is there, if you work at a really, really fancy car dealership, is there any kind of like background check you do before someone asks to test drive like a Rolls Royce Phantom? Or do you just have to do it on like vibes? By the way, we're amazing. Like if some 16 year old kid comes in with a suit on? Are you like, come on, brother. It's the Rolls Royce dealership. <laughs> you have to leave your kidney behind? Well, I don't, I don't mean that they're going to like steal the car. I just mean like, you know, you're like, come on. I'm not giving you 35 minutes in the Rolls Royce Phantom. You're obviously not going to buy it. Credit check for sure. You're not gonna write a credit check to do a, a, a test drive, right? That shit knocks like four points off your score. I forgot to bring my wallet to the Honda dealer. They let me test drive a CRV anyway. Uh, info, were you wearing a zip up polar fleece? My boy's a nuclear plant operator and was declined to test drive at the Aston Martin dealership despite him having a 400k salary. That's gotta hurt. If that happened to me though, you would not catch my ass driving an Aston Martin ever in my entire life. I would dedicate the rest of my life to making that company fall. It probably wouldn't do anything, but it would have a meager impact on their bottom line, I'm sure, but Okay, weapon crits. Next attack with bow and arrow hits twice. We're not really built for that. We're not really built for that, big man. We could gain our own spikes. With blackjack and etc. Hang on, I'm, I'm cooking and I'm thinking. And I almost got caught because my beeper kept beeping. You never been on a ride like this before with a producer who can rap and control the maestro at the same time with the dope rhymes that I kick. You know, and I know, I float some old funky stuff to add to my collection. The selection symbolizes dope, take a tope, but don't choke if you do. You have no clue, etc., etc. came to do. It's like this and that and this and uh, hang on. You go here. Goofy uh, backpack. That's damn true. That's damn true. There's a goofy uh, backpack. Where do you go? Doesn't matter. Start me up. This is me and my homie Snoop Dogg came to poo. It's like this and like that and like. Hang on, hang on, uh, librarian. Can you give me uh, g give me like three seconds to either win or lose this round, and then I will look at the uh, the emote. It better not be low tier god though, with a lightning bolt sh striking him on the top of his head. Oh, I'm dead. That's exactly what it is. Okay, well, I'm not gonna add that, but I do understand the reference. <laughs> I understand. You should start engaging in positive self-talk now. Items gain 5% crit chance for each luck. I have none luck. Well, I have very little luck. Although even just a 5% crit chance is kind of crazy. You know what? I'm believing in myself. Give me a moment here. A moment like this. Some people wait a motherfucking lifetime for a moment like this. I mean, you gotta buy this for one, come on. And then luck. Anything that raises our luck. You know what, for, for one round, don't mind if I do. Hmm. 
Factorio ass backpack. It looks like my friend trying to smuggle 12 homebrews into the Stages nightclub, downtown Kingston, Ontario. I said, brother, they're not gonna let you in with a backpack full of bottles. He says, if they find them, I'll just tell them they're Cokes. That dude probably drives an Aston Martin now, if I had to guess, <laughs> and that's not a joke. <laughs> Come on! Oh, okay, you got me, kid. You got me? <sighs> okay, did he get in? No, they turned his ass away. Him and his basketball shorts. Okay, more luck. Very good. Very good. Dunk, got the dunk, dunk. You know what? I got this. This is all backwards. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. KC and the Sunshine Band. You need that. I don't have 14 stats, though. Our stam usage is low. We freeze you. We buy you and start backpack battle. Poison. Poison Goobert. Mushroom Goobert. I think we're going sickle mode. You're right. The amulet should be next to the knife. That's damn true. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, what's the best non-candy thing to get on Halloween? Before we talk about this, can we talk about the fact, and no one's more surprised than me, the person whose Halloween candy tier list I vibe the most with is Corey's. And I, like, I've still got some issues with it personally. Like, it's stunning to me that people keep putting, like, chocolate-covered raisins in anything but the bottom tier. Like... Are you 90 years old? Like, it's, I think Ludwig had them in like the B tier. Like he would rather get like uh, chocolate covered raisins than Snickers or something like that. It's, it's kind of unbelievable to me. But Corey is the first motherfucker I've ever seen who doesn't grab the balls and stroke the shaft of the Kit Kat Corporation. I don't know why, I felt like an insane person. Everybody's always like, Kit Kats are so good. They're like the king of all chocolate bars. And I'm like, it's literally just like chocolate over like a wafer. It's nothing. It's like, it's all, I wouldn't turn them down, but at the same time, like, is I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get off the highway and exit early to go to the Kit Kat factory. The Kit Kat dick riding is crazy. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. So Corey put it in like the C tier, which I think is fair. I don't think it's like the worst chocolate ever made. I'm just a little surprised that it gets so much cachet in the streamer community. Yeah, this looks sensible. Health drops below 70%. Gain a little luck. Luck is good. Luck is good. Let's get some shoes. Luck is good for us. What's S for you? I accept, by the way, I'm, I'm not trying to seek consensus. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I'm a Sour Patch guy. I'm a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup guy. I do also, I would probably, the, the most divergence that I have from consensus is probably that, like, I don't understand why people think Swedish berries are a bad candy. I would never be upset to get a little fun-sized pack of Swedish berries on, on Halloween or Swedish fish. I love a Swedish fish or a Swedish berry. What is a Swedish berry? It's a Canadian Swedish fish, okay? Everybody chill. Everyone relax. We do things a little differently up here. She would always want a Jinx Tortilla. You strike me as a Coffee Crisp sort of guy? Coffee Crisp is indeed delicious. We're going to lose this round. <laughs> I just, I don't need to wait for the cards to flip. I just, looking at your backpack, I'm very scared. 
I love a coffee crisp. Wait, hang on, we're still hanging somehow. Crit me? We're gonna win, holy cow. Oh, in fact, it wasn't even that close. I mean, it's a little crazy, but send it. Also, I feel like, oh my god, look at this backpack, bro. There's no way I'm beating you. Like, your shit is packed tighter than a Seth Rogen marijuana cigarette. But on, unless, unless, unless it's going to be close. Oh! <laughs> Sheesh me. Numbers, numbers, bodies, him, him, you, her, her, bodies, bodies, bodies. Your wrist remedy from today's SAP video saved me a trip to the hospital. By the way, no one is more surprised than me. I saw a Twitter repost of a TikTok physiotherapist that said it was basically like a, an introduction to what the physiology of your wrist was like and it was like if you're dealing with wrist pain it's possibly because like one of the little bones in your wrist is out of alignment so the and i i'm just saying this is don't do this consult a medical professional first okay i had had wrist pain ever since i got back from orlando in um you know mid-august and i i it tweaked something from holding my daughter for so long right so she was like, what you do is you grab like the two bones of your forearm like this, so they don't move. And then you clench your fingers together and then you rotate like counterclockwise like 10 times and then clockwise like 10 times. And then you might feel something like click into place. And uh, I saw all the people replying were like, wow, this fixed my wrist pain immediately. That's incredible. And then I was like, no way. And then I did it and it clicked and it took away like 95% of my pain immediately. It was, it, it's an unbelievable piece of tech. I just broke my wrist. Skill difference, honestly. Wouldn't be me. That last 5% is still kind of annoying, but yes, <laughs> it's true. Anyway, sorry. We we need uh we need you. And we need space. And we need more space. Hang on. How much luck do I have? Some. Some. Backpack me. Shh. Backpack me. Leather bag. So I I know this is gonna get a little scuffed for a minute here. We need the Jinx Tortilla to face like this. So I think we're going to do it like that. Well, he doesn't like this, so they do it like that. <laughs> Maybe something like decroted piece of crap right here. Okay, now you got to be next to the knife. You guys can be wherever as long as you're ideally still giving me some nature in the vicinity, in the function. This is just to be funny. Okay, start me up. Okay. Holy cow. David Beckham? Isn't he that guy from Netflix? I got a lot of buffs. <laughs> I got a lot of I got a lot of debuffs. This strikes me as not good. But every once they give me a little hope, they let me come back into it a little bit and then they take it away. Okay, but we were not off by that much there. What are we This is like we got two rounds remaining. What do you even do? Start with vampirism. I got to rework 
everything in my life. Dunky, dunk, dunk, dunky, dunk, dunk. I don't have to rework that much at all, actually. Be nice, hang on a second. You, we need you to touch both of these lads. That's really the only spot for it. I'll live with it. Please rotate your leaf. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah? Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong about this leaf rotation. You gotta be touching. So you gotta be there. It'd be nice to get a nature item here, but you gotta be touching this lad. You can't take that spot. You, mm, you could possibly take this spot. But then this screws up this there. It's, there's too many dependencies. Am I right, software developers? Just say it. Just say it. He's right. Just say he's right, okay? So true. Just too much work. Dunk a dunk. Dunk. We're getting pretty close to the end here. Pretty much just got to send it. I'm an independent software engineer. Okay, student, got it. No shame in it. You got a skull in your sword? We're not making it out of this one. Where's is this Tim? Where's Tim? Tim is a Tim is the skull. That's Tim. <laughs> Yippee. Yippee! Sounds like Joe Walsh. Oh, dude, that was pretty good. 15 wins. We're working our way towards platinum. I like backpack battles. We'll slash marker that. We'll call that backpack battles too. 